And we begin with live pictures from London outside Buckingham Palace, where hundreds of mourners are gathering now to remember Queen Elizabeth II. That's right, she died today with family by her side. She was the longest reigning monarch for the UK at 70 years. That will be the theme throughout our coverage today here on What's New. With that, we welcome you into the program. Hello again, Northeast Ohio. Welcome to What's New. Thanks for spending time with us with Betsy Kling. I'm Jay Crawford. It certainly has been a tough day around the world. So sure. many people respect Queen Elizabeth II, and we want to get right to the Queen's passing. She was 96 years old. Buckingham Palace announced her death at Balmoral Castle, which is her summer home in Scotland. And that's where members of the royal family had rushed to her side after her health took a turn for the worst. NBC's Keir Simmons reports from London. Good evening. We are witnessing extraordinary scenes here outside Buckingham Palace. There are crowds in the street behind me there. Silence, a kind of somber atmosphere, and every now and then cheers and applause go up as people do whatever they can do to try to pay respects to a monarch who reigned for 70 years. It was just months ago that we saw Queen Elizabeth on the balcony of Buckingham Palace there as crowds gathered here again to celebrate her. Now they are mourning her loss. Charles, her son, now King Charles, describing this as a moment of great sadness for the family. The announcement came today in a simple message that said that Queen Elizabeth had passed. Her family around her, her children and her grandchildren, William and Harry, rushing to be by her side as the moment finally came. It is an extraordinary life. Born in the 1920s when wireless radio was the major form of communication. Now in the crowds outside Buckingham Palace there, people are holding up cell phones. And through it all, the Queen was a rock of tradition and yet mostly managed to change with the times. Guys, a really extraordinary life. Definitely. All right, this, that was NBC's Keir Simmons reporting from outside Buckingham Palace. He's going to have more on this story tonight on Nightly News with Lester Holt.